Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today we're talking about some of the basics of gait evaluation and how they relate to the treatment of patients. Today we're, uh, we're watching Tiffany walk. Tiffany's been nice to volunteer this assignment. You can see first when we watch people walk, we, we look at the head and we see if there's any asymmetry in the motion of her head. Now she tends to have a little drift to the left side as she walks. Her head actually uh, leans a little bit to the right. So the, the motion of the body is towards the left. The head is a little bit lean to the right side. And this is, your body's always trying to become symmetrical. It's trying to keep your fo the, the center of your gravity, center of your mass, your eyes on, on the right plane. So now we're going to look at her shoulders. Uh, several things you, you notice. One is that she has a, a slight shoulder drop to the left side, uh, which is our maybe one of our first clues that she could have a short leg or a long leg. Uh, we look down at her arm swing and see that her, her left arm swings a lot more than her right side. So it, it could be one of two scenarios. It could be that her left side is swinging normal and her right side is stuck, or it could be the opposite. So that's part of your evaluation to try to decide why she is doing certain things. Then we look down at the hips, and um, we can see that she has a little bit of a, an out wing to her left hip, her left, her left hip goes out a little bit. She leads a little bit with her left side as she comes towards us. So there's a little rotation at the pelvis that's unexplained. Now that this is sort of the common pattern for a long uh, left leg where you, for an adult the, the longer side has the it, it's on that side that the shoulder drops and it's that side that the, the hip gets a little bit higher and a, a little bit wider. Then we go down towards her knees. Uh, you can see uh, with Tiffany that uh, she has some fairly significant internal uh, patella rotation. Uh, we, we've actually tested Tiffany and found that her external hip rotators were fairly weak. So you can see as she lands on the ground her knees will turn inward at the, at the patella, uh, which can lead to, to some of the uh, overuse injuries that we see around the knee. Then we get down to the foot, and we look and see that she's an excessive supinator. Uh, we found on testing Tiffany that she actually can get centered with the, the, the simple block test. But you can see the left side supinates more than the right. Uh, we've also tested Tiffany and found that her left leg is her longer side. So then we get to how she's moving through her foot. It's very important when you watch somebody walk that they tend to move very easily through their foot, which she does. You can see with Tiffany that because of that supination tendency, she, that would be considered very unstable, and she tends to grip with her toes. So that's a, a common uh, complication of uh, excessive supination, where patients will get uh, hammer toe deformities developing quite young. It's also very common with uh, young dancers. So then we're going to look at heel lift. The heel lift should be uh, not delayed or not early. Uh, Tiffany tends to keep her heel down just before heel contact to the other side. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't look like she has a, a pattern of a really tight Achilles tendon. And I think that the driving force with Tiffany is her excessive supination on that uh, left side, which uh, is something that uh, an orthotic w should be used for. Now, it's her right side that's short, so we'll use a lift for her right side. 
uh, to help correct that. We'll use uh, root balanced orthotics, set it vertical to get her uh, supination tendency uh, corrected. And um, she may need some, some work uh, with her external hip rotators to strengthen them. So I hope this uh, one example of how we look at the body and watch people walk and try to develop a treatment plan around has been helpful. Thank you very much.